today? Huh? And what are we actually doing today? And why do I sound so sexy on French? Ho ho ho! Building a custom cat tree! That is what we are doing today. Mm. And I sound like this because deep down inside, you know you want your custom cat tree designer to sound like this. ready? Okay, now, you want the guy that's building your cat tree to sound more like this. Strong and manly. And a little slow, but good with his hands. So let's take a quick look at the materials and tools that we will be using to make this acorn of an idea grow into a cat tree of a good time. Here's the basic tools that you're gonna wanna go get to make this job easier. Okay, um, some scissors and a knife, a jigsaw. A good jigsaw is indispensable for this project. You will need uh, some hole saws. You don't have to have a hole saw kit but I highly recommend a hole saw kit. You will need a, a light duty driver and a light duty drill, probably a good finish hammer and some glue. As always, you will need some sandpaper. I recommend a rasp, a file, sometimes called a rasp, with a rounded edge and if you don't have electricity or you're broke or Amish, you could use a Yankee drill to complete most of the operations in this build. <laughs> Hello, I would like to show you some of the materials that I picked out for this uh, beautiful project. Uh, here is a coat rack. Now this coat rack I picked out because not only is it a beautiful but it also matches the four poster bed that my wife so elegantly added to our bedroom decor. A coat rack is well suited to become a cat tree someday if you take it the little hooky things off and uh, attach it to a base. I will show you that. Come a little closer, I will show you some of these other things that I picked out. Ooh, ooh, things that I picked out. I have chosen some round wooden serving bowls that will uh, go elegantly with the coat rack. And uh, I have used them. Also make sure that if you choose things like this, that they are big enough for your pussy cat. And and I have chosen some decorative angle brackets to help hold up the wooden bowls as I put them up. I have chosen a very nice bowl uh, that is made of wicker, perhaps woven by a Native American, or an indigenous person, or maybe made in China. These are bath mats that I have cut up to use as a plush landing spot for your pussy cat. Okay, for just a second, I need to take uh, a moment and show you uh, this hardware that I've picked out because it's very specific to the project. I have chosen these brown screws so that they will match the wood. These screws are also very important because of the length of the screw. It is not long enough to penetrate through the wood and up into your pussy cat. So the first thing you got to do is attach whatever you're going to use to build the cat tree on. In this case, I'm using a coat rack. And you have to attach whatever you're going to use to something stable. All I did 
was just go buy a two by two sheet of three quarter inch plywood. Then I bought a bath mat and I wrapped it around and used some carpet tape to secure it. In order to secure this, I drove some screws up inside where these feet are and I made sure that the screw is flush so it's not going to scratch up the floor. You don't want to scratch up the floor, you'll get trouble. Maybe you can't tell a joke, but when your stuff gets broke, what do you do? You give Tommy a call, whether it's large or small, there's no project he can't see through. Let's laugh and learn from this handyman, with Kitty hold this by his side. Fixing stuff in a serious way with a not so serious guy. Today we have several kitties for Kitties Roundup, huh? What did we learn today, girls? Well, we learned that I did not tell everybody to push the like button. <laughs> so please, maybe you should do so now. Become a subscriber and you will see more videos like this one. Today we made a beautiful cat tree from. A coat rack, a coat rack, as we've learned, can be a beautiful base for a cat tree, and your cat will love it immediately. Be safe. Until next time, merci. Thank you for letting us bring a little bit of goofiness and humor onto your job site. Au revoir. Fixing stuff in a serious way, but not so serious, guy. Huh?